Okay, so welcome, and what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to expand this log expression. Okay, so I have log 3x squared times y. Okay, and what we're going to be doing is using the properties of logarithms. There's three main ones. Uh, there's the product property, the quotient, and the power uh, property. So hopefully you're familiar with those. Um, you'll see them in practice uh, through this problem, but you, you may have to go back and take a look at some other stuff to brush up on it. But anyways, let's go ahead and expand this expression, log 3x squared times y. And the word expand simply means just write this out another way, and expanding kind of implies it's going to be longer or bigger. And that's exactly um, the case here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break up this product. Now I have 3 times x squared times y. Now I can write a product of something. When, it, when I'm taking the log of a product, I can break up that product using um, addition symbols. And let me um, show you here. It's the sum of the product. So it's log 3 plus log x squared plus log y. I think sometimes in math it's easier to actually just write it out and try to explain it. Um, but anyways, so you can see here I had, a, I had the product 3 times x squared times y. Okay, using the uh, product property, I can write that as log 3 plus log x squared plus log y. What I'm doing is just these are the sum of the factors of that product. Okay, so that's if you're able to understand that um, then I'd say you're like 50 percent uh, there to finishing this problem. Now what we want to do now is look at each individual term here. We have log 3 plus log x squared plus log y. and We want to see if we're able to apply any other log properties to even expand this thing further. So log 3 there's really nothing we can do there, so I'm going to write that here, log 3, plus log x squared. This is a perfect candidate to use the power property. So log x squared. Anytime you have a power, and this is a, a tremendously important property in logarithms, is uh, anytime you have a power, a, taking a log of a power, you can take that exponent. In this case, it's 2, and drop it right in front of that LOG. Okay, so log x squared is the same thing as 2 log x. Okay, this is, like I said, tremendously valuable property of logarithms. So we're going to write that log x squared as 2 log x. And then we'll take a look at our last term over here, log y. And as much as I'm racking my brain to think of a property I can apply, that's pretty much it. There's nothing more we can do there. So we'll just write log y, and that's it. Okay, so log 3x squared times y can be expanded to this long expression. So some of you might be saying, well, what's the, what's the reason why we'd expand? Well, oftentimes your ability to be able to expand expressions, and the opposite of doing this, by the way, is called condensing. It's absolutely vital and critical to solving log and exponential equations. Okay, um, good place, good starting point here is to go back and make sure you understand that those properties of logs that'll really help you. And hopefully, this video, um, you know, made some sense to you. And good luck.